Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your summer solstice, or if you're in the sun southern hemisphere, your winter solstice reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into the safe and loving space. So let's see, Virgo. What is the energy that we have to be mindful of during this time? Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. This is the Ace of Wands. So it's very interesting. This is the summer solstice, right? The sun shines very brightly. And there's a real sense of passion, of fire igniting within us. We have to be mindful of, of losing interest and how quickly we let this fire burn within us. Because there's a sense of being really interested or really inspired by something. And I just see it dwindling off, dwindling off. So just, just be aware of this. It moves us to our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. This is inspiration. This is the sacral chakra. And we are going to find that, again, with the rising sun, that's just so important during this time. The energy here of like rising into our ourselves, into our passion, into what we want, we are going to be inspired by the summer solstice. Or again, if you're in the southern hemisphere, by the winter solstice. There's something here where it's solidifying it's it's strengthening the relationship that we have with ourselves our creativity our sensuality within the world we are being inspired and we are really looking at the world in a new way in a more well inspiring in a more creative in a more kind of innovative way so let's look at what the tarot has to say angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels And spirit guides, angels, and spirit guides, show me clearly. So let's see what has to be said. Okay. So at the center, the theme of the summer, what our spirit guides are really guiding us towards is the emperor. Now this is strong Aries energy, but this is also a real sense of power and determination and focus and a sense of I'm claiming what I need during this time and not being kind of bullied by anybody else. We're claiming our throne, we're seeing what we want, and we're really focusing on the bigger picture or the way that we kind of have things fall into line for us. We're not just looking at one small thing. This is being the emperor. This is looking at how everything interconnects, how everything feeds off of each other. It moves us then to what has been growing within our lives and where this growth has been focused, has been focused for the summer. And it moves us to the two of pentacles. It moves us into balance. It moves us into an understanding of ourselves. It also moves us into this energy of we've been trying to juggle a lot. We've been taking on a lot and we need to just kind of ground ourselves and look at what is needed, what we desire, what we're looking for instead of feeling obligated to everybody else. So where's 
where do we need the summer fire in our lives? And this is the eight of wands. So the eight of wands is telling us we need it in change. We need it in creativity. We need it in things moving forward. We've been stagnant and that can also be because we've been trying to juggle everything. We've been stagnant and now it's pushing us forward. It's saying, okay, you know, things need to be shaken up. Things need to be released. We're going to see ourselves during the summer letting go of things. We're also going to see ourselves, you know, Oh, that's interesting. We're going to see ourselves wanting to look at a bigger picture, wanting to move out of the same old rut. So this is going to be really a summer of inspiration of a time of, of, you know, really coming together. Now, how can we help the intentions that we have planted in the spring really grow? And here we have the nine of cups. It's by embracing them. It's by, you know, looking at what we wish for, looking at what we want and seeing ourselves as lucky individuals. Instead of looking at all the heartbreaks or the pains or the disappointments that we have been through, it's like, where are my wins? And how do I culminate these wins in my life? How do I move things forward for me? There's also a sense of a wish coming true. There's something that happened in the spring and we might not even really be seeing it right now, but there's something that's happened that is kind of changing the course of things, that it's opening up our eyes to new things. And we're like, oh, wow, I didn't think this could be the way that I move forward. But now we're starting to see ourselves embracing what we wish for, embracing what we love, and really seeing ourselves as lucky. Instead of before, I see this energy of darkness around us, kind of like a dark cloud following us, sadness, you know, it could be depression, anxiety, but just a sense of putting so much weight on our shoulders and not being able to carry it. Now, here we have, where should we be focusing our creative energy for the next six, six weeks? So the creative energy reaches its peak on August 1st because this is the beginning of the harvest season. This is called Lunasa, and I do apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it is the beginning of the harvest season. So where should we be focusing our energy? And this is on the King of Pentacles. We are represented by the Pentacles in the Major Arcana. So here we have this focusing of our energy, of ourselves, of what we want, of what we're looking towards, but also the sense of I've planted these seeds and I have nourished them. I get to say how things are moving forward in my life. There's a real sense of I'm, I'm, I'm taking the reins. Now, it's not being bossy and it's not being overly kind of dogmatic with things, but it's really saying, this is what I want within my life. And this is what I need. This is, this is what I've been growing in myself. And this is how I need to grow as an individual. And so here with the King of Pentacles, we're taking on a very strong masculine energy. We have that in the theme with the emperor. Now we have that with the King of Pentacles. And we're going to see ourselves really looking at the bigger picture of what we want, which is very important because how we make, how we take this season of creativity, how we take the summer and we cultivate it for ourselves is by truly embracing who we are. And this is the hermit. We are represented by the hermit in the major arcana. We are represented by the pentacles in the minor arcana. So the very essence of ourselves is coming forward. It's like, okay, where do I want to be? What do I need? Where, what am I looking towards during this time and for myself? Now here we have what has been growing within us for the past six months since, you know, since the winter winter solstice, what has been growing within us and what do we need to understand has been kind of our default, kind of our, our fallback reaction to things. And this is the nine of swords. Now the nine of swords is worry. It's doubt. It's fear. It's chaos. It's, it's just going over things again and again and again in our minds. And so we need to just be very aware of this. We need to be aware that for the last six months, our default has been to stress ourselves out. Our default has been not to sleep well. Our default has been very chaotic. And that's going to be something that we need to look at and say, okay, what changes need to be made? How do I need to, you know, because we have the mirror image of this is looking at what we love and looking at what we wish for and really seeing ourselves as blessed or as prosperous or as, as moving in a direction that is really beautiful. And that energy can be eaten up by this energy of, of chaos, of doubt, of fear. It brings us to what do we need to let go of so that this energy here doesn't rule our whole entire life so that every day isn't the nine of swords every day isn't this continual chaos it moves us to the night of wands and the night of wands is fire energy it's passion it's creativity it's determination but it is movement if we stop moving if we stop going after what we want if we stop looking at the bigger picture and saying yeah i really am capable we will start to believe in the negative voices that are going on in our heads and that will really hold us back it will really stop us from getting to that place that we want to be that way of embracing our lives that that we absolutely enjoy or desire or need and so 
what the Knight of, of Wands is telling us is that what we need to let go of is the sense of I can't move. And what we need to embrace is a sense of I'm more in control than I thought I was. Or I have better ideas, better plans, better insights than I thought I did. And now we're moving forward in passion. Now we're moving forward in, in determination. And we're also letting go of this sense of either feeling so scared that we can't act or the sense of just needing to act, just needing to do something in order to push us forward, in order to get to somewhere that feels like progress. So we're starting to be much more realistic within our goals, but also a lot kinder to ourselves. And then not putting all this pressure on us because we'll have a tendency to do that. We'll have a tendency to be despondent or just completely overwhelmed. And then we put all this pressure on our shoulders and we have to do things instantaneously. We have to, you know, just move forward and make some sort of decision. And that becomes very overwhelming. Now, if we put in the time and the effort, and if we really embrace the summer solstice as a time of creating the energy that we want or building and growing the way that the cards are showing us and the way that we really embrace who we are and what we love, our outcome is the world. Our outcome is the world opening to us. Our outcome is moving forward in a direction that we just didn't think possible. There's also a sense of the door being open. There's a sense of new possibilities coming our way. And it's like there's a whole world out there for us. If we get out of our own way, if we, it's like we stop the self-sabotaging, we stop, we stop the chaos and we really look and say, okay, I need to move and I need to embrace what I want because we have these two cards here showing the movement as they mirror each other, showing the sense that things are changing and it's not to run away, but it's to say, I'm finding my place in the world. I'm finding what I want and what I need and what's really important to me and, and nothing will stop me. It moves us to our subconscious energy to be mindful of and that's the wheel of fortune we need to be mindful of the fact that things are changing and we need to be mindful of the fact that we can feel very overwhelmed by this change and not know exactly the way that we want to move forward but also be putting unnecessary and undue stress on ourselves because everything feels up in flux at times it moves us then to our subconscious chakra energy which is the the solar plexus chakra and here we have inner strength here we have ourselves coming out of doubt and fear and negativity, a time when we were frozen, a time where we felt completely overwhelmed and really embracing our strength, our purpose, our focus, what we're looking for in our lives and finding our voice, our own voice during this time has a lot more truth and power to it than we realize. It's almost like we're, we're silencing ourselves. It's like, no, we have to say what we're feeling. It's not letting other people walk all over us. And it could be the flip side and spirit saying you have to say it. And I know it, this can, can sound rude, but if we're so busy forging ahead, if we're so busy, you know, saying it has to work, it has to work, it has to work. Spirit is also saying we need to step back and listen more. We need to see what changes are bringing us and, and take the doubts that we have and say, why? What am I running from? So that's going to be very important. It moves us to our subconscious tarot energy. And this is the six of cups. There is a real sense of being inspired from the past, but there can also be this real sense of finding it easier to live in the memory of things, in the glory in the glory days, instead of in the present moment. Or thinking, well, if this person was still here, or if this happened this way, you know, differently, things would be easier. They might be, but we can't change time. We just can't. We can say, oh, if this person was alive in our lives, you know, everything would be okay. And again, that could be the truth, but it doesn't mean that we can we can do anything about it. And there's just going to be something here. And it's a harsh reality. And I do see it as a harsh reality. That's why spirit keeps on bringing up somebody who has passed. But it could be a loss that was just a devastating loss. And now it is time to say, you don't get to rule me anymore. That doesn't get to be how I define my whole entire life. All right. All right, Virgo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power and beauty of this summer solstice and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Virgo. And may you have a blessed summer solstice.